Hey guys, hope you all are well. Today we are going to go through how to use your Creality laser on your 3D printer. Today we are going to be installing it on the Creality Ender 3 S1 Plus, but it will be the same for the normal S1 and the S1 Pro, as they do have the same connections and everything like that of the process is the same. Now, if you do happen to have an S1 and you have bought the laser, but your firmware on your printer does not have the correct firmware on it for the laser, just go down to our description. I have linked Creality's video from Creality on how to install the correct firmware. And you can hop right back here and I'm gonna show you guys how to install it. The video that I linked down below is very, very helpful. It shows you exactly which firmware to download and how to upload that firmware to your machine. Let's dive down, have a look at what items we have in this package over here, and let's see what is going on over here and how to install it. And here you can see in front of me, this is the laser module. It's a really, really nice looking module. This is the five watt. Here's the mounting bracket, the cable, the one and only cable that's needed for this laser. And we have some screws and a uh, Allen key to work with. And these are two magnetic strips used to hold down our material. All you have to do to get started is take off the ribbon cable on our hot end over here. Just pop out the two sides and pull out the ribbon cable. And now we're gonna to move to unscrewing these little screws that hold the hot end onto the gantry. You don't have to worry about the bracket that's left over that does not need to be worried about. It is part of the entire thing and we're gonna be reusing that space. As you can see, the bracket is nice and open over here. This is our mounting bracket for our laser. All we have to do is screw in the provided screws used to hold this guy to the bracket. It's just two little screws. As you can see, we're tightening one down, tighten on the next one, and that part is finished. The mounting bracket for the laser has been completed. With this complete, we take our laser module. Now these two silver screws on the side, make sure that they are fully screwed open when we wanna slide the bracket into the laser module. Slide that guy up and now you can tighten those two screws to give it a friction fit there on the side. As you can see on the top of the laser module is where the cable plugs into, just so easy like that. Now what I like to do is run the cable along the top of the 3D printer that I can't get in the way. Now on the bottom of the 3D printer where there's the open plug, you can just plug in the other side of the cable. And the entire hardware setup is now done. Over here, we just Googled over here what software do I use for the Creatly laser? And as you can see, there's Creatly's website. We click that link over there. And as we scroll down, you can see there's that firmware that we spoke about earlier if your printer doesn't come ready. So you can download that firmware and get going. As you can see, we have Windows and Mac. On this side of here, you have two options. We like to use the option that says print, not build. So there's the print option for our Macs, and there is our print option for our Windows. Those are the files that you download to get going. And as you open it up, here we go. This is what it looks like, and this is how you add in different jobs. 
this is where you can make your tweak settings of what is really going to work the best for you. We're just going to load in the standard Creality logo and we're going to use the standard settings that is set up with the software as you open it up. We're not going to change any speeds. We're not going to change any power. We're going to use the standard settings that come loaded onto the software as we install it. So there's our logo. Let's remove that background quickly. I don't really like that white over there. Oh, it's a nice little hollow engraving there that we're going to get with just the lines. I really like the way that looks. Let's save this guy and get going. Load that save file on your standard SD card and plug the SD card into your machine over here. Now here's where it gets really, really important. Flip your build plate over to use that steel backed part on the underneath of the build plate. As we switch on the printer view, you can see the process that we go through to switch to the laser side. As you can see, we go to our settings and in the top middle over there, we select. And as you can see, we go to the laser, we say yes over here. And here is where we adjust the height of the laser module. As you can see, if I'm going lower down on the Z axis, you see that guy moving downwards. Now, when you get to about this height, I wanna put my material down because you do get different thicknesses and move down that leveling lever as you can see right here. As you're moving this down, you want that lever to touch the material that you're busy engraving on. This is gonna ensure you the perfect distance for your laser to engrave. As you can see, just a little bit more. And there we go. Now we can just say, okay, and carry on. Move that lever up that it does not get in the way for your future jobs. There's those magnetic strips I was telling you guys about. So as you can see, we place it over our material just to ensure that the material doesn't move around as we're busy engraving. All right, now we're gonna move our uh, laser to the side, we're going to say auto home and here we are going through the process of selecting our file. So there you can see there is the file that we have saved and right now what we're going to do is frame it. We're going to see the run range. Now what run range does is that it's actually going to move in a square to show you how big the laser plans on engraving this. This will correspond with the settings that you do in the software to give it its size. And as we say go, it'll do one last frame job and it will get going. Please make sure that you do wear your provided goggles as this can be very, very harmful to your eyes. And there you have it, you guys. We have successfully engraved our first engraving on the Creality S1 Plus with the laser module. I really, really hope that this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below or go check out our social media. They are linked down below as well. And you're more than welcome to message us there. You speak to us directly and we are always happy to help. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week.